He's freaking flexible. God dang. Remember me? <sighs> yeah. Hi, Dr. Thayer here with Shane. Shane is from South Dakota, which looks like San Diego on my chart, but it's South Dakota. And he's out for a two-week plan, so you guys are going to see his first visit here. Uh, he's gone to a lot of chiropractic. 20 years of low back pain started in high school. Uh, here to get some help. My lower back, my feet, neck, left shoulder, jaw, okay. like, kind of the whole body. He's been seeing chiropractors constantly his whole life since this all happened, right? Pretty much. Tell how many chiropractors you've been to? I think you're the 10th or 11th one. Gotcha. And so uh, I, I asked these questions earlier. So of the 10 or 11 chiropractors you've seen, besides me, how many have taken x-rays? Two or three. Two or three. The last one you're at right now, you can currently go to for a year, did what? <laughs> Referred me to a pain management. Specialist. Okay, so the chiropractor uh, sent him to a pain management hack. I'm sorry, medical doctor. And so what did this guy do? Well, I saw him the first time in October and uh, injected my SI joints, uh, both left and right. Came back two weeks later, I didn't have any relief, did an MRI, showed a slight bulging disc between L4 and L5. And then two weeks later, he did injections in between the L4, L5 area. Then it, or he came back two weeks later, didn't have much relief. Um, so then he wanted to do six facet joints, three on each side. Tell us how enjoyable those facet injections are. You said they didn't like cursing. Yes, so, exactly. It was the worst pain I've ever experienced. Yeah. Um, the first shot into my left side, a facet joint, shot pain down into my left leg, all the way into my toe. I'm surprised I didn't kick him in the face when, like that. <laughs> Anyways, get how many total injections in three months? 16 injections. Okay. I have never heard that before. So any medical hacks do more than that. I'd love to hear what is the normal amount of ridiculous injections you put in somebody's back and until you actually send them to a chiropractor. Tell us about this constipation you've had for years. Um, uh, my regular uh, schedule is maybe two to three times a week. I would love to be four to five times a week just to feel more. <laughs> Isn't that funny? You guys are out there like, oh, I don't go poop every day. I'm dying. He just wants to go every other day. <laughs> yeah. That's how bad this is. And when I travel, it's even worse. Oh, sleeps like crap. Yeah, sleeps like crap. Anything else? Oh, 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 oh. tell us about the other depression too. How many years have you been on depression medication? I believe I started somewhere around 1998. 99. Yeah. And he would be stoked if we get him off that, right? Oh, you do not know the... <laughs> beginning of it, right. yes, so. that'd be great. Good. Okay, just like all the other chiropractors, right? Yeah, not quite. <laughs> We're fine. You get in spots where they haven't gotten before. Yeah, that's what yeah. she said. <laughs> the C2, C3, which is again right on your x ray. Good, dang. As I stand here right now, <clears throat> I have no pain in my lower back, which is one of the top two things I came in here for. So that's fantastic. Uh, my left shoulder and neck, um, that was the other top thing that I came in here for. And right now, I would say it's probably 80% better than what it was when I came in. Well, uh, how about your feet? Plantar fasciitis, any, the heels, remember the heels? Yeah, no, every great once in a while, they there's a little bit of tweak, but then it's gone. And then left hip pain? No, no, non-existent. Neck constipation, pooping every day? Well, I don't know. You said yeah. We last week we were. You said you went twice or something. You're like stoked. What about this I, week? I've lost track a number of times. <laughs> <laughs> we'll Most important thing: depression. We have. I haven't even freaking talked about it. Oh, that's right. Last week we decided to try half the medication. Did you do that? I did. And so, what has been the result? I haven't even asked you one question since yeah, last week. Yeah. So like, let me know what's going I on. I kind of forgot about it. Me oh, too. <laughs> I started cutting them in half Sunday morning. Sunday morning was the first time I did. And I don't notice any less benefit from the medication, so that tells me that not, you're not missing my body. You're not, not, you're missing. not missing the medication. I am back <clears throat> basically for the exact same things that I was here uh, in January and February of 2019 for uh, neck, upper back, mid back, low back, uh, some foot issue, some jaw issue. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, I mean, it's basically the same, same thing. Gotcha. So you guys are out there going, oh, I knew that chiropractic doesn't work and that, you know, Dr. Thayer doesn't know what he's doing. I have tons of videos showing placebo effect doesn't work. I mean, doesn't happen and that people get better and people have long-term compliance with my work. Um, I'm going to tell you why he's not holding his adjustment in a few minutes. 
but uh, I'd like to know how you did over the last three years. So when you left here, you did pretty good. Tell us about that, because if you guys watch his old videos, which I hope you do, those three will be posted in the description below. But if you watch those, you'll be like, oh my God, yeah, the guy loved him, he did great. So why are you back? What's, what happened? Tell us kind of what happened, the, the, the timeline over the last three years. So my wife beat me. No, I just... <laughs> so as I say, <laughs> I tell the jokes here. Oh damn it! All right. Yes, exactly. uh, no, I mean when I got back home to South Dakota in, in uh, February 2019, things were great for three four months. Amazing. I mean uh, I was sleeping great. I was pooping great. I don't know if you remember the pooping jokes or not, but um, everything was shit. Awesome. Yeah, Sorry. right. Everything was awesome. Uh, but then. Depression, depression was down too. We had depression for years and now all down, 20 years of depression. Yep. And so all these things were better and you'll see in the old videos. Go ahead. Yep. And then it was just life. Uh, bad habits, you know, started creeping in here and there. Uh, I would slouch when I was sitting in a chair. Um, just but however, he's the one that said education was paramount when he was here before. And he's not a dumb guy. So. I'm gonna spend a little time in this video because he's not a dumb guy and he actually listened to me and he tried to institute everything I told him, but he still fell back in the bad habits. Why, let me ask you, why does somebody like you fall back into bad habits? I'm, I, I don't wanna say it, but part of it is laziness. Um, you know, I, I knew what I was supposed to be doing, but I would take the shortcut or the short way out and mm -hmm. not uh, not be so precise. Gotcha. With what you talk. And tell us and again. He also said we were talking for about an hour before this. We did an exam and some X-rays again. I'll show you guys those X-rays is before and afters. Uh, he has some three years ago. He has some currently now. Really interesting to see three years difference in his X-rays. Here we have slight improvement of his balance from five to three. Here we have a right short leg and the, it's a little shorter now actually. Here we have a high reverse curve, but it's actually a little better now. And here we have more arthritis in his low back, which tells me, hmm, look at this. Um, but he was telling me that when he was uh, back, he even, because I take a lot of pictures here, I take a lot of video, and I send it back with the patient, and so that they can use it to ways to remind them of what I do. So tell us about that. You looked back at the stuff. Yeah, I, I have probably at least 100 pictures uh, that you took on my phone, uh, some videos showing what I should be doing. and. Over the course of the last three years, I have gone back and reviewed the photos and the videos, and I even found my notebook of what I was doing, and I reviewed it. But I think there was a point where I got to be too much out of whack, and there was no coming back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just want to give his opinion on it. Yeah. I would have said the exact same thing he just said. But I, I want to impress that he actually went back and did the the video looking and the note taking and looked back and goes, what it is, what am I missing here? And I always say that it's 50-50 here, guys. It's 50% me, meaning I gotta give him the ability to change and he has to follow through with his stuff. So because he didn't follow through, I'll just tell you how it worked, because he didn't follow through, not because he didn't want to, because he just missed some steps, some steps in there. He didn't follow through, his spine went back to the way it was. We call it muscle memory. So he needs a reminder so he can actually do the shit I do. And so he tried to do it on his own. Whoa! Interesting. Okay, so that was the power just went out and we have, we're on battery power here. Oh man. If you guys actually see this, that's pretty funny. So <laughs> anyways, uh, we'll just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, power's trying to come back on. Anyways, uh, so I think it's interesting that he tried to do the right thing and he couldn't get back into it. So he's back for virtually all the same stuff. So tell us about uh, the depression medications back on full amount. Uh, the sleep is not as good as it used to be again. Um, he still thinks he's better than he was before when he came in because there's still a certain assemblance so that he knows how to sleep better. He thinks he's, he's not quite as desperate to be here, but he is, he does need to be here, okay? Correct. Yeah, uh, the depression, I uh, attempted to cut back on the medication, and I did. I actually went down to pretty much nothing. And once those couple months, few months went by, I... <laughs> Lights just came back on again. I, uh, <laughs> and, and all of that crap started creeping back into my spine and my... So you think you're full of shit again, crap? Yes, literally. Yep. <laughs> and uh, it, it just the depression started sinking in, and I was back onto the meds full time. And, I mean, right now I'm probably the happiest I've ever been in regards mm -hmm. to life in general. But, uh, but you still have the medication. Still but, medication. but I still have the medication. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm relying on that. Things I saw in his x-rays, which I want to point to right now, in his low back, he had a really bad football accident, which I find is interesting because I saw it last time, but I don't think it was as big a deal. His low back is worse three years later on the x-rays. 
I think that's part of his issue why he can't listen to me because that back is still kind of messed up. Even though I help it, there's some kind of stop in there. So we may be adjusting his low back this week too, if we can get to that. Uh, chiropractor, you saw a chiropractor, tell us oh. two chiropractors you saw, and you told them you wanted them to call me and all that kind of stuff. Tell them that real quick. Yeah, so uh, since I was here, uh, February 2019, I have seen two different chiropractors in the town in which I live. And the first one I started seeing approximately six months after I was here, so around August, give or take. And I reached out to him and I said, hey, uh, my primary chiropractor is in Costa Mesa. Can you give him a call, find out how I need to be adjusted, so on and so forth. And they said, yep, 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 we'll do it. I just found out today that they never called. Yeah. So they lied and that's probably why. But he was there a few months. He was there several months. Yep. And, no matter ma and he had, they had my x-rays. I gave him x-rays and on a CD and they have all my markings on there too. So it says I have arrows pointing to where I adjust. And so uh, he went there for six months and he just never, ever got the same kind of results. Correct. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so then I took a break from chiropractic altogether for about a year. And then it just started getting to a point in my neck and upper back uh, where I was like, I got to try to find another one. So I went to another one and uh, I didn't ask them to call because I just figured yeah, they're too late. Maybe yeah. it's whatever. Yeah. So I haven't seen the results from him as I did here. So yeah. that's so you guys got fun. Yeah. But anyways, I want to show you that again, even though he knows what to look for and he loves what I did here before, it's very difficult to create the same kind of thing with other chiropractors. Even though it looks the same, guys, you guys want to say, it's just a basic adjustment. It ain't the same thing. <laughs> it's not. Okay, so the interesting thing about him too, I said on his old x-rays, and I'll point to that also, is high reverse neck curve. That high neck reversal is difficult to adjust for most chiropractors. You have to be very specific about it. It can't just be some like hodgepodge adjustment. Uh, it's better now than it used to be, but it's still reversed in the same spot. So this is a part of the reason why other chiropractors can't get it. But if you do get my CD in the future, look at the arrows and adjust where the arrows are. I try to make it ABC here, guys. Okay. Right there, high reversal. I'm gonna go right at C2, C3, right through this. Good. He's freaking flexible. God <coughs> dang. Remember me? <sighs> yeah, that's great. Good. So the hard part about him is that he's so flexible, so I have to bring him to really more extreme. This side's not as flexible as the other side. Right side was much more. So get him here and come back this way. Shane is going down the hall trying to do his posture moves, but they are incorrect. So we're going to have to reteach him. He knows this now after seeing him for a week. So let's see how he's doing right now, though. Okay, so any first impressions right now? Uh, <clears throat> just like the very first time three years ago, after that first adjustment, I felt the warmth again. Gotcha. Um, which, Through what, the whole body or just your uh, The upper... Upper shoulders, back, couple back. Shoulders. Gotcha, yep. gotcha. Um, which I knew that meant it was working. Or, gotcha. You, know, you felt something. Yeah. Yes. Gotcha. Yep. And then that second uh, adjustment, it was it was tight. It was it's, it's, tight. It's, it's very really sore. Tight. It's yeah. sore. But uh, otherwise, no. It's same as it was back gotcha. then. Gotcha. So, yeah, <laughs> haven't changed <laughs> I just, anything. <laughs> haven't changed anything. I, I'm damn good. That's <laughs> <lesson>. Anyways, <laughs> go ahead and bend over, touch toes, please. Okay. How's the back? Fine. Uh, about a. Three. Three, so yeah. about 40% better, something yeah. like that. Back like this. I was able to go further. Uh, probably about uh, three, three again, yeah. 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 Floor, look at the floor. One. Wow, uh, yeah, it's like a three now. Gotcha, and I hate doing this because I don't like going any other way, but go ahead and lean to your left. Still tight. Um, so six, right. seven? Five, 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 so six, just yeah. a tiny bit better, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. I just wanted to see because that was really bad in the room. That was worse than last time I was here. Yeah. And the squat. That seemed easier. Uh, easy, uh, yeah. yeah. He's a little yeah. quicker on that one. Yeah. So, uh, anything else for sure? We got a whole week here with him, so we'll get yeah. some more stuff, but uh, so far, so good. Again, I love this guy. We have, we're going to have a good time this weekend, uh, get him better again. See ya.